So for UVs, let's start over here back at the body. So I'm going to click on this attribute transfer and click on the visibility. And this is the quad remesher result that it gave us for our body. And by the way, um, navigating over here in the node menu, you can just mouse wheel to zoom in and out and then middle mouse to uh, kind of pan around. So I give myself a little bit more room down here. Let's hit tab and type in rhizome. And by default, it's going to want to go to op uh, the optimize option. Just hit the down arrow and then hit enter on the unwrap and then drop that node in here in your node view. Let's take this attribute or the geometry we have here and we'll just plug that right into this node. And we'll turn on visibility for this. And now we have UVs. Of course, you can't really see the UVs because we need to uh, open a viewport for that. So what I'm going to do is hit Control 2, which is going to open up two windows. And then on this left one here, I'm going to do Spacebar 5, and that's our UV window. Uh, so here we can see the object and the UVs the rhizome UV gave us, or the unwrap gave us. If we want to see any stretching or compression uh, on our object here, what we can do is we can hit Tab. Now let's do a Visualize UV. Let's go ahead and drop this in here. Uh, so I plug this in and then select this one and make it visible. You can see this is our distortion that's giving us. If we zoom out, here's our results. You can see it's a pretty bad distortion on the head and the body here. And over here we can also visualize the seams. And the seams it gave us is pretty crazy. It only put one seam down the body and unwrapped it. Uh, we can try and make this a little bit better if we hit tab and then go in here to rhizome optimize. We can drop in an optimize node first and then plug this one into my visualization. Go ahead and select that one and make it visible. And you can try to play around with some of these settings. But I think essentially up here on this unwrap, let's open up advanced. Let's click on the stretch control. And let's go ahead and go from this unwrap straight into that visualize. We'll go ahead and skip uh, the optimize. In fact, for this, we probably won't even need the optimize. I'm just going to uh, select the optimize here and just hit delete. So you can see when you turn on stretch control. So here's the other thing too. So just like we mentioned before, I can have visualize visible so we can see what our seams are doing and what our UV distortion is doing, but I can click on the UV unwrap to get those settings. For the stretch control here, if I drop this down, it's going to kind of reduce the number of islands. So let's keep dropping this down. Let's say 0.01. And here you can see our distortion isn't nearly as bad as it was, and we're keeping our islands down. Now you see you have other things in here. You can change your method from pelt to any number of options in here, and also underneath advanced, when we click that little plus sign here, it's a lot of cool things you can do in here, but I think this result will work just fine for our purposes.